five. So this week one of your challenges is to share a talent that you might have. Uh, now I haven't got anything super exciting that's going to change the world, um, but I'm really creative and you don't really get much of a chance in school. Um, sometimes you get to be creative as a teacher, but not all the time. And the ways in which I'm creative is that I'm pretty good at art, at drawing, I'm pretty good at writing, and I'm pretty good at something called um, quilting, which is a bit, a little bit like... Um, well, it's sewing, but a different type of sewing. So I thought I'd just share um, some of those talents with you. And I was looking through an old um, art folder that I've got when I did um, art GCC and art A-level when I was drawing from a really, really young age. And the earliest drawing I found, um, I've got all my drawings that I did in primary school. Um, and this is one of the early ones that I did of an orange back in 1992 before you were all born. So I was 11 then. So only about a year older than you. So probably my first year of um, secondary school, coming to the end of primary school. Um, so I did a lot of sketching when I was younger. Um, here's another uh, drawing I did of a tiger when I was younger as well. I also found um, some oil paints that I did when I was at school. You had to show evidence of your work. I did some um, oil painting. I also found a, a watercolour I did in 1998 as well of a boat. And I don't get to do as much drawing and things as I would like to now, um, but I really think it is something I'd really like to pick up again. Um, also, when I was younger, I used to um, love here it is, writing. And I was adamant when I was younger that I really wanted to be a novelist and write ch children's stories. I probably will do that one day. And I used to um, fold bits of paper and make books and do a lot of writing and write books. Um, when I was really, really little. And I used to have an ice cream tub full of them. I can't find them anymore, unfortunately. I had a, had a typewriter as well, used to type. Um, but I did find this that I uh, illustrated when I was younger. And it's a comic book um, all about Aladdin. So I drew all the pictures and I added in um, all the writing and um, designed it all myself, like designed the layout um, and things like this and it doesn't have a date on unfortunately so I don't really know how old I was when I did this uh, but actually looking back at it now I'm pretty impressed <laughs> I think it's pretty good um, so yeah so I kind of wrote the story um, I really really loved the film when I was growing up and uh, wrote the story and added in the pictures so uh, yeah so that will probably still be something that I do someday because I really really do enjoy um, creative writing and then I mentioned that I'm a quilter um, so first of all since I was little I've always done a lot of um, sewing my mum's a really keen sewer and she knits and she embroiders she does anything like that she's really really good at it um, so when I was younger the first thing I started doing was something called cross stitch and I've got loads of these upstairs under my bed um, but this is one I made in oh gosh 96 so I was 15 you see here, it's made up of tiny, tiny little crosses. If I get really, really close, I think you could probably just see them all individually. Um, so I made a lot of cushions and pictures for my nana, my mum and, and, and things like that. So I've got that there, that's cross stitch. And then this is quilting. So when you quilt, you normally make um, big blankets and they're called quilts. Um, quilting is when you stitch straight onto material and you get other bits of material and you put it on, you stitch that on. But what I really like doing was to make um, uh, banners and quilts that go on display um, my mum did a lot as well and when I was younger probably again about 15 or 16 I entered um, a national quilting exhibition and won first place in the children's category which I was really proud about and I made this so I'm gonna back up so you can hopefully see all of it Ooh, a bit further, a bit further. there we go so it's a happy birthday quilt for display that I made for my nan and I've got happy birthday written in different languages around the outside, four balloons and four handprints, because I'm one of four. I've got three brothers, as you know. So I took each of our handprints. If I come in really close, you can see I use what's called a balloon stitch around the outside to stitch them onto the material. And you can see the material is stitched all the way along. All the letters are stitched on. Um, the balloons, they're all stitched on as well and quilted. And you can kind of see it going all the way through the back as well and yeah when, when my nan passed away I made sure I got it back again so I could keep it um, and again I don't really have time to do a lot of the quilting now um, either but maybe even though we're still working and still getting children's school 
got a little bit more time on my hands. Maybe I'll take it up again. Um, but yeah, maybe there were some talents that you didn't realise that I had. Hopefully I'll have time to bring them all back again. Um, so I've heard from a few of you about your talents, which is really, really nice. But Miss Everett and I would really love to hear from a few more of you. So get those emails in. Uh, stay happy, stay safe, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.